Okay. Are we on? Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. You, just, you just have to. Yeah, alright. So, so we just look at the camera for a few seconds. Okay. And then I'll begin. Alright. Hi. No, sorry. Hi, welcome to the National Quiz Choice Online News. Say hi to the high hotels around the world. And I have a good friend here who represents the Black Shirts, a new jazz band uh, here in Singapore. They just performed here at Esplanade. And this is Sukai, the, the band leader himself. Yeah. Hi. And Sukai, tell me, uh, what makes you call yourselves the Black Shirts? I mean, a lot of people have been wondering, you know, what are the Black Shirts? You know, and who are these people? Tell, tell me more about it. Alright, so basically Black Shirts, right? We're, we're this band, right? Then we, we form out of this program called the Variety Program, which is held by the Esplanade. So what they do basically is we have to pass auditions to get into this program as um, this is age limit like for youth. And then once you get into the program, actually they, they put you under this entire mentorship program where they have like professionals like out there who are playing and who actually like come down for our practices and give us tips and advice and, and stuff. So at the end of the entire program, we get to do this. So basically at the Mosaic Festival, which was in March, and now just in July, we, we get a slot, right? So this is how we all, we all met. So these guys came and we all came together. And, and some of us knew each other before, for the program, but some of us didn't. So one thing that unified us was that we love wearing black shirts. Like, don't really? ask me why we love wearing black shirts. I mean, okay, wearing black shirts is something like a, a lot of the, the youngsters like to wear black shirts now. Really? But, but the interesting thing is that, is like, okay, I, I just graduated from Poly, uh -huh. but in my entire, like, last year or so, I never wore anything except a black shirt. It's really? Every day, without so, fail. So, so, so does black represent uh, some, kind, some kind of like a, a classic? Yes, okay, it's a classic. Black is a classic color, right? You can't go wrong with black. So, okay, as a guy, like, the, the most important thing is, I don't have to choose my shirts, right? But beyond that, there's a greater meaning. So the greater meaning is that, I don't know, we wear black shirts and we don't wear shirts that have a lot of imprints on them. I mean, I personally, I, I like shirts that have that just really plain. And the reason for that is because I, I feel like we should be open to things. So black and plain, right? It represents that you are really open, like, to anything. Really? Yeah, so you're unmarked, right? Unbranded, unmarked. So you're not, you shouldn't be, you should aim not to be biased. Because especially in, in music, I feel, like, as young musicians, we should aim not to be biased. And we can have an open mind. It's, it's the, that's the only way that we can really absorb as much as, as much as we should be, really. And what is jazz to you? I mean, what is jazz music? Okay, okay music in general to me is a very, very important thing in my life. I grew up with music, so I, I would say that it is an important aspect of my life that I cannot, probably cannot live with without, right? So jazz was something that hit me about three years back, and ever since I have not gone back, so I was with other genres, but this jazz thing, okay. it's just something to the music, it's so hip and swingy that you just, you just don't find this anywhere else. And I understand that not everyone appreciates jazz like we do, and most of the time the community of people that we always we always meet uh, the same the same people, the jazz musicians. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's a very small community. Really. We kind of know each other. So like, I mean, there are other interviews as well. Right? Those are all our peers and right? all the youngsters, which is what basically you're, you're interviewing. So jazz to me now is is a music that we're trying. Uh, a lot of us are playing it because we love it, and through all this like performances that we hold, we hope like to be able to. You know, I encourage more people to listen to jazz. So maybe if, if they come down, they like the stuff that they hear. Maybe they go back and and explore more of the genre because this is a genre that has been there for it was probably like last century's genre, and not a lot of people like like especially our age will listen to it. But we, we think it's very important. It's good music and it shouldn't die. So we. So so, so when did you discover uh, that you had a knack for jazz and music? You know, and even playing an instrument. Uh, was that uh, was it something that you grew up with, or was it just came to you naturally? Well, I guess there are musical influences. Like my dad was a very important influence. He he was always into music. So from then, of course, you you always see your dad strumming like, guitar or something. You'd be interested. So I discovered like okay, like, quite at a young age, I was sent to Yamaha and stuff. And I discovered like, hey, I, I have I have like compared to the average population, my ears are a little bit better. So like I can I can pick up stuff that some people can't. So from there I always been into music and developing. But it was only like in recent years that I really decided to take on this entire music thing really seriously. And then that's when I met these guys and then that's when we we're doing this music. Oh wow. Yeah. So any plans to for the black shirts to form a like an album or E P in the future? We'll be open to the idea. But one thing you have to note about jazz musicians is that we we don't always form a fixed trio. 
So the guys that you see will always be around. We one day you might see black shirts playing with another drummer or maybe another bassist or another pianist even. Right? But it, it, it doesn't really, really doesn't matter because as long as the music is good, that's the most important to us. Right? Oh, wow. Yeah, and actually jazz is about I feel like it's about working with different people. Because every time you play with someone different, there's so much space for you to communicate. And the beauty of it is how you converse through the music, the language of music, which I which is important. Is that, so is that the future of jazz for you? Is that meaning? Ha- uh, meaning that the, that's how jazz is approached for you guys? For us, yeah. So it's like every time I go up to the bandstand and I meet someone new and I play with them, and I learn something about that. It's, it's as simple as like I'm having a conversation with you and I'm learning things about you. It's the same thing. Basically, but we are conversing in music, so we play things and we react to each other. So to me, that's that's the beauty of it. It's a like conversation. Yeah. What advice could you give for aspiring, uh, you know, jazz musicians, you know, and musicians uh, alike who wants to start a band? Or, okay, musicians, you have to be really serious about what you're doing because this is not an easy line. Like what they say is true. It's not an easy line. It, it, it's mostly fueled by your passion rather than anything else. Um, but it's not true that you cannot have a future in music because if your passion is strong enough, you would do well, definitely, right? For jazz musicians, um, I think the most important thing that we should all actually be doing is after, once we, 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 we're sure that we're serious about this genre, we, we've done our work, we should go out there and meet as many jazz musicians as possible. And so the easy way to do that is actually to go, go down to like places like Blue Jazz, where they have open jams every Wednesday. So go down there and, and check it out. And there's a place called Southern as well, and, and it's on Sundays, open jams as well. Go out and meet the people. Yeah. And what's next for you guys? Next? Yeah. Um, we'll see what gigs come up. Then we'll prepare as jazz musicians, and we'll see. We may not be working with each other, but we'll be working around. So you'll definitely see us in the jazz scene. That's definitely for sure. Well, good to see you here at this uh, jazz up program and the festival itself here at Esplanade. And thank you for joining us here at the National Quiz Choice Save Hyatt. I'm Robin Steinberg. Thank you for watching. Thanks. Hey, thanks so much. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs>